Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it's August 20th of 2022. I'm waiting for Sprint Internet to send me a router. I have, which I think are two Google routers, but apparently Sprint installers and what have you don't, and they can't detect them or something. So I guess they're sending me a router for free, they said. I think usually they charge $5 a month. They didn't mention anything about that. I think it's not going to be a charge. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've got the same high-speed internet that I had before. Uh, 400, well, supposed to be 400 down, but I get like 350 or something like that. I did actually, they, when they went through trying to do what they were doing, it did go from 20 up to 40 up, and that actually helped, that 20 when I upload a video or something actually uh, helps. I'm using um, Manicam. I think the last video that I made the other day, the audio was out of sync. And I, th I think the reason for that is that it was using a uh, different uh, microphone. I think I've corrected it because uh, I see the Wavelength Microphone FX Egato Wave 3. I see the bar, but it doesn't seem like it's as responsive as it was before, so I'm not sure. Uh, What else? Must be something else here. Um, they're saying again that we might get some rain here in Fort Worth, Dallas-Fort Worth area. Sure would be nice, but worldwide, I mean, just everywhere, it looks like a drought. Really bad in some places. Uh, let's... Uh, I need to update that tag below. I think I'll put the link for uh, to go to the Amazon link. So that would be, I'll probably put uh, jimhoward.me. That's a secure link. I've got a three and a half, three and a half thousand subscribers. If a small percentage of those people would just uh, use that link when they decide, now I'm, I'm I'm sure there's you know spontaneous things pop up and you just go to Amazon and you click on something. But if you could use that link when you're going to purchase something, it would take you to Amazon, and then once you're there. You know, you don't have to click on any of the things that I have there. You can just go click on anything and I will get uh, a commission. That would help out a lot. But anyway, I need to change this uh, lower tag here. Um, I updated this from last time. Finally, I mentioned the other day that... Uh, 
I think I need to. I don't, uh, let's see. That's the Brio. I, uh, I really don't like the angle of, it's on a tripod. Uh, the Brio, you know, it has a tripod mount on the bottom, but it doesn't come, uh, you know, just with a little thing that you can flip out and put it on top. So it's going to have to be, going to have to be on a uh, tripod unless I, unless I have some, or I could switch cameras. That would work. Yeah, maybe I'll try. Um, a different camera. Now I have that one that I have been using the Avery or whatever, but they keep updating it and every time it they update quite often the software. And every time I just should say don't update because every time that it changes something and I have to go in there and it, you know, it changes, uh, changes things. Uh, um, let's look at the news. Uh, I hate to do this. You know, Target, uh, the, the uh, store, has had a good reputation. Well, of course, this is just my opinion. It's had a really good reputation in the past for a lot of things. Uh, when I was in Miami, I think it was, or was it Orlando? can't remember. Uh, I went to Target a, a few times, and they had wide aisles. And then they have that special that... Uh, a chili dog and a Coke or something. It's not something they've had uh, uh, for years. I mean, years and years that they haven't raised the price up. That's like one of their things. Anyway, it um, says here, the retail giant won big during the pandemic. Pandemic? But now profits are down 90% compared to a year ago. And then down below, Kohl's, says that uh, their inventory is a mess. Um, they are just stocked up with a large, large inventory that's not moving. Remember, I took over, I had to, re I had to return something to uh, Amazon. And they, uh, Kroll's, Kroll's has, has this thing, you can just go over there and you don't have to wrap it up in a box or do anything. You just take it over and what you, you know, and uh, uh, so I think that was the first time I can remember that I was in one of their stores and I did a video and I was really impressed with it. They had uh, the little robotic uh, things that go up and down the aisle with, you know, clothes, stuff on it for the people who work there to stock shelves and that kind of stuff. And I was kind of impressed with the store. I didn't see many people there. Um, the world's second biggest movie theater chain is having trouble. I wonder if that's one that has its headquarters in Kansas City, Missouri. I, you know, I was, uh, I was where I was, you know, born and spent a lot of years there. I was kind of surprised when I heard many, many years ago that the number one movie chain had its headquarters in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, it says here, a black couple says they whitewashed their home and its value rose $300,000. Uh, I'm sure what they mean, but I haven't clicked on it. I'm sure what they mean is that they uh, took down anything, you know, took down stuff uh, 
and made it, you know, look like they're neighbors, and you know, I'm guessing at it. And so then the appraiser or whatever <laughs> uh, said it's worth. Uh, uh, you know, more money. Uh, after I got out of, uh, let's see, high school, the first course I took, uh, I think was the uh, Weaver School of Real Estate. I took that. A, uh, they were a, a school in Kansas City, Missouri that uh, taught real estate and appraising and that kind of stuff. Some of that information has stuck with me, uh, but I never used it. I didn't want to uh, be that, but my father had just read How to Make a Million Dollars in Real Estate. That's a very pop. It was a very popular book. A lot of people were reading it. Nowadays, if you, I don't think anybody would be, you know, Nowadays, people want to win like a lottery, you know. I mean, they want the, the payout to be a lot of money. They would, uh, so, but uh, anyway, my dad read that and he wanted me to go to the, you know, go to real estate school. So I went, he paid for it, and I graduated. And I never took the state board. I could have passed it because they did a good job at the school and our final exam was we took uh, not, of course you didn't know if you were taking, the, you know, you took an actual, the actual real estate exam that you would have to take in for Missouri, Jefferson City, Missouri. But I, you know, I did, uh, didn't go into real estate, but, uh, Let's see what else is in the news here. Um, let's see. McConnell seems to be exactly right about the Senate GOP candidate program. I don't know what he said, and I don't really care. A GOP county chair apologizes for posting an elephant logo with a KKK image, you know, the Klan image. Republicans uh, just about seem like a, about at least every month, seems like every week almost, they're always doing something like that. Um, there was a school that came up with a new... Uh, logo for their school or something and I mentioned that in a previous video you know it they it had Nazi insignia you know a uh, I mean it didn't say KKK underneath it but when you looked at it if you watch the history channel if you know the history of whatever when you when you saw it and you thought how in the world of course they it, you know, they took it away with took it down. But you just kind of wondered, how, don't they watch the History Channel? Or it should, maybe it should be called the Nazi Channel or something, you know, all about uh, World War II and other wars, of course. I like the History Channel. But you just wonder how these people can be so detached. I mean, it seems like, especially when it goes through some type of you know, somebody comes up with it, somebody does the artwork, somebody looks at it, they pass it on to the CEO or the, you know, the director of the school, and they, that kind of stuff, and you think, how can they, how can it, um... then of course, in what state was it? Louisiana or some state, a entire class except for one, um, and I think it might have been jailers. I don't think it was highway patrol, but I think it was jailers or something. A good job, you know. Well, I wouldn't want the job, but a good, a good, 
good pay, you know, a, a civil service job. And it was a large class, I'd say 30 or 35 in the class. And they had completed the class. And according to the story is, uh, they, somebody said, you know, we should, uh, we should let our, the, the head teacher or whatever, you know, let him know that we really appreciate, you know, work that he did and, you know, give him a salute or something like that. And so all but one of them gave the Nazi salute when he came in or something. And they took a picture of that. <laughs> and, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I remember, I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure on this, all of them, I guess, except for the one who didn't give the Nazi salute, uh, all of them, they went to school and of course they were paid for it, you know, and they completed the course and that was, they were all, no, that was it. You know, <laughs> we don't need you, don't want you or whatever. Uh, Uh, I wish the political thing, I wish we could just take care of what needs to be taken care of and then move on. And I wish, I, I don't think we can though, but I would like for both sides, you know, to come together <clears throat> and agree on some things. But because of the other side, I don't think we can I don't think there's any any way that we can. So I, I think the only thing that would work would be if, you know, if the Republicans just totally lost uh, all the elections, you know, and for uh, two, three, four elections, a Republican just couldn't get elected. And then the Republican Party would totally change and then, you know, we could start, you know, working together. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, it's too bad that what I thought, you know, when I had my computer bulletin board system for since 1982 and until then until the World Wide Web was... Uh, invented. Uh, all that time when I ran a computer bulletin board system and stuff like that, um, I fairly, I, I tried to cover all sides, both sides. And uh, I did it fairly. If You're not going to believe me because uh, one, people who are Republicans don't believe that anybody, you know, Anybody who's a liberal or Democrat or whatever is you know, going to be fair or whatever. But I did. I covered, I put like whatever the issues were. And the issues were basically the same they are now. Uh, you know, gun control, um, abortion, and all these issues. And I had both sides a, a presentation of the, you know, and then people commented in the message board, and it was a good discussion back and forth, but nobody ever, ever changed their opinion on birth control, gun control, or any of those types. We had, well, there was one message board that I set up about uh, the best hamburgers or something, and uh, a few people actually changed their mind because a bunch of people were talking about White Castles. This was in Kansas City, Missouri. And Kansas City, Missouri didn't have a White Castles at that time. And then we got one. But that's the only issue. So, But uh, when the World Wide Web uh, was uh, created, and then I set up my site on the World Wide Web, uh, I thought and I said, well, you know, it's not necessary for me now to try to present both points of view because we'll be able to go to, you know, to the different sites and see what's going on there. And then we can go to another site and see what their opinion is and that type of stuff. 
but that didn't, <laughs> I was mistaken. That didn't happen. What happened is people went to, you know, Fox News or CNN, or what they went to, and they don't didn't go to anybody else's site. Where I was, uh, redstate.com or whatever, a right-wing uh, site. Uh, I went to that quite often. And I had at that time, I had cable, and I would occasionally go to Fox News and see what they're on, um, whatever it was, you know, the war in Iraq or whatever. I would uh, go back and forth a little bit and see what their opinion was on it. And... Uh, but that didn't happen, and that's part of the problem, and I don't know how you solve that problem. Uh, one thing I wish that could be changed somehow, but we have freedom of speech. Uh, I wish that, well, there's nothing we can do about that freedom of speech, unfortunately. <laughs> well, we want freedom of speech so people can go out and pick it and do that kind of stuff. But, you know, we don't want to take a Fox News down or CNN or something because of, because they're giving it a certain opinion or something. That's not what, that's not what this country is supposed to be about. Although the right wing here, <laughs> we disagree. You know, they're, uh, they burn books and they t take books out of libraries, you know. Um. Uh, they, you know, this was not found, the United States was not founded as a Christian nation. Our founding fathers were smart. They, they knew history and they knew how that, <laughs> having a state religion did not work out. That's why a lot of the first people who came, you know, uh, to the, the new world uh, knew that that was, you know, a mistake and, uh, they didn't want state religions or any religion. They wanted religion, but they didn't want to force it on somebody else. You know, and they didn't want to burn them at the stake or something like that. So, um, you know, uh, I think the state of, is it the state of Texas? I live in Texas. I think the state of Texas just gave the governor, he's, of course, running for, you know, for re-election, I think that he had the government, the state of Texas, send uh, what it, what is it? In God we trust, to be put up in every you know in every classroom, uh, put up on the wall. Now that's inappropriate. Now I can understand you know if you're religious, or that type of thing, and I understand it's been on our coins, and all type of stuff, but it has no place. Uh, just like what was what state was it Mississippi or something where maybe it was Georgia where the judge state judge or whatever put a gigantic uh, I mean and I mean you know <laughs> in the lobby of the uh, courthouse Ten Commandments and you know and of course the other you know, the uh, other judges and things said, no, that's, you know, that's inappropriate. We know this is not. And he, you know, his attitude was, fuck you. You know, this is, you know, this is a Christian nation and we can have this. And no, we can't have it, you know. And they uh, removed him as uh, a judge. And then I'm not sure, I think he came, I think he came back as a judge and got in again and was removed. So I'm not sure if they were elected or what, but so then he was removed again, and then he ran for office, and I forget what he ran for down there, and of course got, you know, over, I mean, just major, you know, he won big time. Uh, so, now I went to, you know, I went to Catholic schools, grade school and high school. And, you know, but that's, you can have parochial or, you know, Christian or any kind of school, you know, you can have it. But so far as the public school system, that's a no-no. But you have these people that are not too smart. 
There ought to be some way, you know. We have all this technology. Be nice if... Uh, I'm joking, of course, but it'd be kind of nice if somebody, you know, said something, you know, and if it would just be uh, taken out of the, you know, taken out of the uh, dialogue. Of course, Fox News then would be off the air, you know. Because it's, uh, you know, the thing with Fox News and all those other, like in the United States, we have all these, especially local AM radio stations. And usually in a town of any size, there are three, four, or five AM radio stations, maybe more. I haven't checked in a long time. Uh, you know, I've got an application where I want well, it, you know, it's on the internet and I can listen to all the radio stations, you know, one at a time, of course, you know, no matter where they are, be, you know, you get them all and in other countries. Um, but in these, you know, you have these local radio stations and they're on every like Monday through Friday, maybe I'm guessing, maybe there's some on the weekends too, that just, they're like Fox News, except they're worse. Uh, and they just, it's just too bad that something, it's just putting it out there and you got people, you know, uh, you got people that just don't have whatever it is in your brain it's not a smart thing, but it's something people should be able to um, recognize. You know, you ought to be able to recognize that's not. I actually, I mentioned this before. Uh, when I was in high school, now, I think it's been done away with, I believe, because I mentioned it numerous times. Like, do they still do, you know? The, what was a National Scholarship Exam or something? Was that it? Can't remember. But it was a test given on the same day to all the high school, that certain grade, I think it was junior, every year to the junior class on the same day. And it was the same test nationwide. And then you got a thing printed out by a computer. I was kind of surprised. Wow, you know. Um, I graduated from high school in 1959. Um, and I've mentioned this before. I looked at this thing and I saw, the, you know, the overall thing. I came out slightly above average. I was okay with that. I know I shouldn't have been, but that was, you know, hey. And then I looked, you know, at this Everything was graphed, so you saw how you did um, the kids in your school and how you did, I guess maybe it was in your state and then nationwide or whatever, and you had the, the thing there, you know. Anyway, I looked at this thing and I, was, I, I saw, like I was like 2%, I was like way, way, you know, the, the bar, the thing went down at the bottom. I was at the bottom. I mean, I was at the bottom. And I, what in the hell is that, you know? And it was math. And I thought, oh, wow. <laughs> I, I guess I'm joking now, but I guess I thought, well, I, could, I can't be a cashier, you know? <laughs> and then I saw, wow, this line goes way up to the top, all the way to the top. I thought, what in the hell is that? And that was ability to read and comprehend what you're reading and sort out, I forget how they put it, pretty neat. And, uh, you know, sort out the information and, and that type of stuff. And I thought, well, wow. 
I may need math, but I think I'd rather have that one. And it, it turned out, you know, yeah, that was something good to have. So why can't we, uh, I'm not talking about brainwashing people or trying to change their political views or whatever. I'm just thinking, why can't we, maybe you can't, you know, I didn't learn that ability, but I've seen how it, <clears throat> over my years, I've seen how it helped me and was useful to me. I did some grievances uh, four at one hospital and two at another hospital. Uh, at the one hospital, I won all four of the grievances. And at the next hospital, I lost them both, you know. But uh, it doesn't really count because of the political situation or whatever. But uh, also at this one hospital that I worked at, uh, I was one of the supervisors who took three or four or five courses that they had. A company would come in and they would, what was it, motivational dynamics was one, and participatory management I think was another, that type of stuff. So anyway, I was the only, all the other people taking the thing were RNs nurses and then I was there because I worked as a supervisor in security and uh, so you know it was an all-day thing I forget how many days uh, not sure if it was a week or what then we'd take a break and go have lunch or uh, you know uh, our little break and be sitting out at the cap the tables in the cafeteria or something and these nurses who were RNs who had I think it could be two years and have an RN degree, but most of those, I think, nurses, they were nurses that had, uh, you know, a four-year degree in nursing. And that we're all sitting there, and the nurses are saying, wow, that's really going to help me uh, such and such, you know, that's going to help me such and such. And, yeah, that's really whatever. And for the entire thing, of course, I was smart enough not to say anything. I was actually thinking, you know, well, I was thinking, I'm glad I'm taking this thing, but I really don't need it because everything that they're saying, I know and I understand. And that had something to do with whatever that ability that I have. Um, if there's some way that that should be, but I don't think it would, you know, with our current political situation, that you know, that wouldn't work because the Republican states or whatever are actually going the opposite way, not allowing, you know, taking Tom Sawyer or something out of the, uh, you know, the books you can read and uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. And I mean, it, they're, they're going the other direction and it's not, it's not good. You ought to be going where you make, where you know, you're encouraging people to be smarter, and but it's not, it's not something that uh, is going to happen, you know, in the foreseeable future. I'm looking over here to say only this is only a thirty. I've only done this for thirty minutes, so I've pissed off enough <laughs> enough of you, I'm sure, that I can stop at this point. I actually try to avoid this political stuff, but my blogging and stuff that I've been doing since 1982, that's been, what I've done is just whatever's going on in my life. Uh, when I did my grievances back in the, at the hospital back in the 80s or whatever, uh, I printed out and I told what my, on my blog, I uh, told what the, what, what, the, what the problem was that I saw at the hospital. And then I typed up my grievance, when I did the grievance, I typed up the, you know, the grievance that I did. And then I reported on what, you know, what the outcome of it was. 
and I just did when my wife uh, decided that she wanted a divorce and said that she had never found me attractive, uh, never loved me, and all this kind of stuff. I blogged about that. Uh, so, uh, so that's what I do. So if you don't like my political stuff, you know, I will mark this, you know, as uh, political. So I'll even put it, you know, that, hey, there's political talk here. What I should do is keep on one subject only. You've told me that, and I agree with you, but I just can't do it. It's not the way I, not the way I block. Um, but at least what I should have done is, maybe I did. I think I probably did. Uh, if you see this video and you notice, if you watch it, and you see that at such and such a point I started talking about politics, Please tell me what the how many minutes into it it is, and I'll put on there. Hey, at uh, twenty minutes into this video, I started talking politics. So, if you're if you don't want to hear me talking about politics, which I'm sure none of you want to, stop when you get to twenty minutes or something. If you uh, I don't want to hear my own voice. I don't want to listen to my own stuff. So I, I hate going through and I should get organized and somehow I got computers. There's a computer going here, a computer going there, and I got a laptop, a tablet, you know, etc. So I should be able to figure out how to do this, you know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Thanks very much for watching.